I don't know what's going on with all, with all that. Hey, what's going on with all you, though? Damn, I'm about to knock over this light behind me. Uh, we did the live stream last night here on Joe Does Stuff, and it's Sunday morning as I begin this yesterday, Saturday. Did the live stream, had a lot of fun doing that, getting a chance to kick it with you guys, and spitball ideas. Man, oh man, do I got the mind of a 12-year-old with ADD. That shit just be going from left to right field and zigzagging everywhere in between. But we came up with a lot of really good ideas, and I shared some really intimate details about some major inventions and ideas that I and others have had. So, fun time. Anywho, as I begin today, what is, you know, on the agenda? Not a whole hell of a lot. Uh, getting ready to go to the beach with my beautiful wife. We haven't been to the beach yet at all. Joe's about as pale as powder. Powder, what is it? Yeah, I'm about as pale as some baby powder right now. Gonna go probably sit out in the sun for about 10 minutes and get smoked. Uh, but there is a house that I'm hopeful to at least get a chance to drive by. I, I've reached out to the realtor. I haven't heard anything in relation to that house. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath, super ideal house uh, for not such an ideal price. They want $175 for it. That's definitely, if I've got that house, it would be the most expensive flip that I ever got. But hands down, the house could certainly sell for $275 after renovations or somewhere close to that. And it probably doesn't even need but maybe $25,000, $30,000 in reno. So there's that house and maybe one other that will drive by today. So that's basically what we're going to be doing. Oh, I thought I got a message back. I'm glad that I looked at my phone because that reminded me of something else that I wanted to share with you guys real quick. I mentioned this on I was about to say the Bobo yesterday. I mentioned this on the live stream yesterday. It kind of felt like the Bobo though. Um, you know, between houses, not having a whole hell of a lot to do. I'm bored. I'm doing a lot of stuff around my house. I got a shitload of equity in this house that I live in. Like over $100,000 in equity. Just in two years that I've lived here, that's how much this area has gone up with the crazy housing market. And I thought about doing a cash refi, like just cashing out on this thing, taking the money now, using that so I can go get bigger, better, and more in terms of houses. I'd love to have two houses so I could always stay busy. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. With the fact that I've been bored, I'm constantly scouring the internet looking for anything. So this morning, I'm on this abandoned website and I run across a guy who's in Virginia who's renovating a house. Now he's about an hour and a half away from me. He's renovating a pretty big, pretty old 1800-isk house that he bought for like $5,000. And I don't know if this dude really has a clue as to what he's doing, but he seems to have some sense about him. Uh, and so I reached out to this guy. He's got a YouTube channel as well. He doesn't get shit for views. But I reached out to him. I said, hey man, we should do a video together. I'd love to come see what you got going on. And maybe I can maybe help you with some work because he's a one-man band. This dude works a job and he's trying to renovate a house by himself. Anyways, long story short, I don't I don't want to get too in-depth with that because, you know, I might never hear from this dude. So I, I, I ran across a local guy, somewhat local, who's trying to renovate a house by himself and not sure how much of a clue he really has, but man, wouldn't I like to go see? And who knows, maybe try to help him to some degree. Anywho, uh, gonna hit the beach, gonna go look at a house, maybe reach out to some people like, hey, yo, I'm trying to buy a house. Can I, uh, can you tell me anything? So we'll see in re relation to that. And also, oh God, I am so freaking sore. I've changed out, I've changed up my workout to where now I'm utilizing that pull-up machine every day it's only been the second day so two days in a row i've been doing pull-ups and them shits is killing me
But, I, but I'm liking it though. So check me out. There she be right there, all the way put together. 140 bucks on Amazon. Go get you one of these. Yeah, man. The dining room is most certainly turning into the gym that my wife ain't going for. She said, Joe, you need to take all this shit, put it out in the backyard. I don't care if the backyard ends up looking like a prison rec yard. I don't want it in the dining room. Yeah. So with that, I'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, check out the front door. Front door is fully installed and you ain't going to be able to see it too well. Uh, but there's a transition strip right there that I put in. It's a piece of bull nose that pretty much matches uh, the flooring that we had. So that guy is in right there. Um, and then if we go into the downstairs bathroom, folks, the downstairs bathroom is finally, well, pretty much completed. Put the transition strip right there that needed to go. I uh, got that mirror in there, got that up in there, I was running that sink, so you already know she probably got a little, oh no, she's dry. Well, how about that? Not any water at all. So the downstairs bathroom, she's complete. Put that toilet paper holder right there. I got this little hook I got to put right here, so I'm going to be doing that. Uh, put some outlet plate covers in here. Also, hey, let's take a look at what's going to soon be... That prison wreck yard. Let's go up outside real quick. Ah. All right. Don't mind the dirty dishes. Aggie, what the hell are you doing? Get your ass up in the house. You're running the house like you've been doing something wrong. All right, folks, check this out. There's the old filming shed right there. There's a big old tree right there beside the filming shed. I'm going to be cutting that tree down at some point. That tree has got to go. I want to show you what I'm hopeful to be able to do. I don't know why I got this idea, but I want to pour a concrete slab. And I'm thinking about doing it either right here in front of my shed. Maybe putting a little awning over top, maybe a little pergola, maybe some nice lights. I don't necessarily know, but I want to extendo my shed all the way over to where that post is at right there and then i want to extendo that opening all the way over to that corner right there uh, so that this fence opens a lot wider a lot more turning room and i might even put a little something right here but definitely i want to extend the shed over to at least you know right there where that post is at so that would be an extra eight feet that i've got if that tree goes away and i want to be able to turn this into maybe a tiny home airbnb something along them lines my wife says it's a crazy idea it's probably not even worth it if i don't turn it into an airbnb i'd like to extend the shed and have 300 feet 300 square feet of storage that would be ideal i could probably get rid of a storage unit at that point save myself 180 or 200 dollars a month in storage but to do that would probably be oh i don't know Maybe ten thousand dollars, maybe a little bit less than that, maybe five or eight thousand dollars. I don't know. I've never really built anything to that degree. So we would literally have to knock out that side wall, right? Oh God, right there. We'll knock that side wall out. Boom. And then we're gonna add a little roof right there, a little eight feet over. So right now I've got 178 square feet in the shed that I have. I would be adding 200 square feet to it. Uh, and what I learned from the contractor's exam is that if it's like 200 square feet or less, you don't even need a fucking building permit for that shit. Um, now, now, I don't necessarily know that I need a building permit because total it would be 302 square feet after I put that addition on there. Uh, I got a couple other things that I want to do around my house, but you know, just stuff that I'll be sharing with you. We're getting ready to be doing that master bathroom. I think starting possibly tomorrow or Tuesday, it's definitely gonna happen this week. And it's about a week that I got planned to get that thing demoed and put back together. Even though the vanity I just ordered this morning, that's not gonna be here for like 10 days. So if I can get to the point where all I'm doing is waiting on the vanity, that would be great. Folks, that's all I got for right this second. I'm gonna 
jump in the shower, get my shit together. We're getting ready to hit the beach. Should I take a shower before going to the beach or just wait till after? Anyways, we're going to go to the beach. We're going to go look at a house or two. Spend some quality time with wifey and try to make today, a, you know, a, an adventure or at least a video that you guys enjoy rocking with me on. So here's to Sunday. Uh, you guys may be seeing this video today, as a matter of fact, and uh, let's try to make it a good one. All right, butt ball naked up in the range. <laughs> I'm kidding. <coughs> mm. Oh my God. Oh. Sorry. So we just did the beach, put on the SPF 50 because we ain't seen the sunshine in three damn days. And uh, we sat on the beach for a little while probably got smoked uh, we were only there for like two hours dipped our toes in the water put our toes in the sand and then we ate some lunch and now we're up out of there and we're gonna go check out a house oh, I wish we could see the inside of the house but I can't get a realtor to take me serious for the life of me saying hey I'm a cash buyer and I want to check out the house it's crazy because it's a 50-50 crapshoot. I can reach out to some realtors saying, hey, cash buyer. And they're like, sure, go check out the house. And then I can reach out to others and they don't respond to me at all. And I don't understand why. Why? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you take a chance? Cash ahead on I-264W in a quarter mile. Not two. still on the fastest <laughs> route. Not 264. Um, why wouldn't you take a chance on a cash buyer who may or may not be an unrepresented party? And because if I am unrepresented, <clears throat> that could be a potential for that realtor to get the whole 6%. But anyways, needless to say, I reached out to this guy uh, yesterday. I didn't hear anything back. I'm, I'm going to reach out to him again on my way out there. Just want to check out the house. Uh, this one's a little pricey, 3-2. They want 175 for this thing. So we may or may not get a chance to see the inside of it, but regardless, we're heading over there right now to go take a look at, at whether or not it's even worth it. Now, on paper, this thing looks absolutely worth it. Ideal location, the number one flipping city in my area. Uh, comps for this thing, 275, they want 175. Uh, repairs, 25, 30,000 max. So if that's the case, if this thing is too good to be true as it's seeming, why the hell is it still available? Let's go check it out and see if see if we can unravel this mystery. Sorry, babe, I'm not trying to put the camera on you. I was just watching this guy. Oh yeah. Let me get out. Let me get out your way. Let me get out your way. Go ahead. <laughs> go get him. Go get him, Tiger. Go get him, Tiger King. Go get him. Oh, that's a lady. Yeah, it is. From New York. You know how them New York drivers be? And the Florida right behind her. Don't nobody want to go to speed limit. Anyways. Let's go see if we can check out a house. Alright, so we just pulled up to the house. I reached out to the realtor again. And I didn't hear anything back from him. Uh, but bang. What do you think of this? Babe, I just bought you a dream home. It's everything that I've ever wanted. That's a cute, all these little houses are cute. All right, so one thing that I want to say about this, oh, there ain't no lockbox on it. That's interesting. Is it occupied? No. It's locked. Uh, plenty of mail in the mailbox. No lockbox on it, unless the lockbox is around the back. What is it? I don't know, it's like opened. That is weird. I don't know what the hell that is. Crazy. Like Alright, y'all probably ain't gonna be able to see inside of there. Damn, I want to show you inside there. Alright, so I can explain what I'm seeing. It looks like... It almost looks like this whole area right here was a carport that they turned into an addition or some shit. I, I, I don't honestly know. But we got decent vinyl siding, decent windows. Crazy cracking right there in the foundation. There's what? A bicycle right 
I mean, there ain't nobody in there. It's like a really nice <clears throat> decent little shed, decent little yard. I don't like the fact that you got a house right there and then a bunch of houses here, but. Shit, maybe somebody is staying in it. Old ass HVAC. Woo, she old. Let me see if I can get a little shoddy shot right there. If we can see any dates on that HVAC system. So this side of the house doesn't have the vinyl siding. This side of the house has some old shiplap type of siding, some old cedar shake siding, old original windows on this side. I think this house is a 1950 something. Panel box on the outside. <laughs> 200 amp service to the property. Outdoor AC unit, okay. So, decent, electrical, nice yard, nice little neighborhood. This is gonna be a highly sought after neighborhood right here. And, you know, I, I can't, it's got gas in there. Oh, it does got a lock box. There's the lock box right there. So, sure would have been nice for this agent to hit me back. Maybe he will, he probably will by time you can probably see through that window right there. Yeah. He probably will hit me back by the time we leave from here. All right, I'm looking into the kitchen. The kitchen is nice. There's a light on in the kitchen. There could be somebody up in here. There's not. But what I can see right there on the... What I can see right there on the, the counter, you probably can't see in, into this window. I see two realtor cards. You remember I've talked about that. Um... You know, when people come and check out a house, they leave their cards because there's plenty of realtors in the sea and not enough buyers probably, or maybe there is enough buyers and there's not enough houses. Uh, this is a little concerning to me looking at this brick foundation part of this. Uh, I don't know what you would even call this, uh, but it's definitely got some decent damage right here. nothing too major though nice little corner lot very very quiet you got another neighborhood over there ironically the name of that neighborhood is the name of the city or area where the motel and the pool house was at you got a garage here you got a shed here you got a nice yard can't see the roof let's see if we can see what's going on with that roof ah, I'm seeing I can't, uh, looks like architectural shingles, no ridge vent. No gutter, gutters are missing. I like this house, I like it a lot. It's priced a little high, a little higher than what I would want to spend. But I'm telling you the return on this and the amount of work that would go into this would be minimal at best i can't imagine them not having multiple offers on this house i need to find out i need to find out if it's still available and if it is i'll put an offer on this without even seeing anything else on the inside i'll put an offer in on this one i wish i could show you more of it did i show you enough of it sorry i didn't mean to slam that door so you got a nice little driveway you got plenty of yard space cute looking house I'm pretty sure I showed it. And I think it's uh, 1,200 or maybe it's 1,500 square feet, something something like that. Uh, the real estate company selling this is some little mom and pop BS realty company. It's got the dude's, got the dude's number right there. All right. I hate to do it, but I'm gonna reach out to my realtor who's, I think he's on vacation. And uh, say, hey man, can you reach out and find me any information on this house? 
Y'all let me know what you think of that one. That one's probably a winner right there. They want 175 for probably 30,000 in renovations and can turn around easily and get 250, 275 for that house. It's gotta be a winner. And it's gotta have multiple offers on it. I'll let you know what, a, what kind of information, if any, I find out.